Oh my God, you didn't recognize me? Oh my God, what did you say? You didn't recognize me? Oh my God, you didn't even recognize me with my hair? Is that what you said? No, that's absolutely what you said. That's absolutely what you said. It's literally 7 p.m. I ordered food that should be here any second. It's five minutes away. Um, my foot fell asleep. It was gonna be really annoying when I had to go get this food. I got to the salon at nine. At first, I had a little scare because I got there, she wasn't there, and then I called her and she said, Sierra, I DM'd you this morning. So I thought she was gonna say that she canceled because I have PTSD when it comes to these hair girls. But she wasn't saying that. Her car got a flat, which is still very annoying. Like, I hate when anything goes wrong with my car. So I definitely feel it. But she was still on the way. So I went down the street, got a little tea, a London Fog, which is my go-to drink when I don't want to be too caffeinated. It's literally, if you don't know, it's literally just like English breakfast tea. They steam some milk put it on there and it, like I get it add vanilla syrup so it has like a little mm, it's just so delicious and it was kind of cold this morning nonetheless so we finally started probably around 9 30 I already went there washing and blow dry as you have saw and I left around three it wasn't too terrible for me so these are them the knotless boho I want you to see the scalp I want you to see the scalp so yeah that happened and then i got a juice and i didn't eat lunch and now i'm quite hungry quite a little agitate a little agitated um and i just need to do some things on the computer but at least the hair is done first things first next up is nails on saturday tomorrow is friday i don't think i'm going to get anything done tomorrow it's really annoying because I was supposed to get my eyebrows done, but I broke out into hives earlier this week. So I might just do my brows myself because as you can see, I don't have that much hair. And I was going to get my brows laminated, but I'm scared to get my brows laminated because um, I had hives and like one of the hives was in my brow. And when that happens, it can, it, it can be a toss up for me. So I'm probably just going to do my brows here myself get my nails done saturday i was also supposed to get lashes but i had an appointment at work come not appointment um how far is she away oh my god almost here hold on hold on y'all i'm back i got my food nifty 50 is my favorite place in the whole philly i oh my god i really wanted this because i wanted to get let me show you my mouth is watering i wanted this chicken caesar salad sandwich okay so i got that and since this is about to be like my first real meal of the day i also got cheese fries yum but what was i talking about beforehand oh i was saying um I forgot oh i got this appointment not appointment i keep calling it appointment i had this meeting at work come up when i was supposed to get my lashes done so now i'm gonna have to go on amazon and buy a kit to do like individual lashes myself which is whatever but i really want to go because I've been wanting to go to this place for a while. Mmm. Mmm. And sometimes my nine to five ruins my life. <laughs> it ruins it. Not because I, it's like one of those things where it's like it ruins my life because sometimes I have to get things done during the week because during the weekend you don't have enough time to get everything done like this weekend i didn't make any real appointments besides my nails so that way i can go get like 
last minute travel things go out to the stores go to sephora get some last minute things go to like the mall get some last minute things that i want just to have cutie outfits like what the hell and here comes your job trying to ruin your life telling you you can't go like what the what is that about so that's why i am upset but whatever there's always a workaround so yeah i'm about to sit here eat these fries y'all don't want to see me do this eat these fries you want to bite there's your bite okay you're so greedy like there's your second bite um and watch some tv and chill out while i look online to see if there's any last minute other things i need i'll be back in a bit it's me hi i'm with emily <laughs> that was so clever wasn't Hello. it <laughs> are you oh my god i'm shocked i have words <laughs> we're about to go shopping Woo! The favorite thing that we do together Emily's, is spend money. Yeah, Emily's my shopping buddy because she's the only person that gets it. She's very stylish. I can't wait to show you her fit. It's not that cute. She's just... It's just like <laughs> she's casually wearing jeans and a hoodie, but not in the way that I will wear jeans and a hoodie. But anyways, we're about to go to the mall and I have a matcha uh, milkshake. I made a video about how I'm not sure if I'm keeping my creamy or not, but... We're on the way and I'll talk to you once we get to our first stop. feel uncomfortable oh god yeah so we just finished shopping and now we're eating a little a little tiny baby little snack at the chick-fil-a <laughs> well, she is i'm eating a whole sandwich yeah so. she has a sandwich but i have to go to dinner for my dad's birthday and t minus what time is it oh, it's 2 36 so i have to be at his dinner i think i made it up. it's at 5 30 so we're almost done our little errands and we're about to eat this. I got some new shoes, some stuff from Sephora, and the skirt. We actually got matching skirts. Twinning! Okay. Yeah, I'm carrying around trash. And I need an SD card for my camera. I'm back home. Here's my hat. I just ordered this off of Amazon. It's a little crochet bucket. Super cutie. Can't wait to rock her on the beach. Now I need to get ready for my dad's dinner. Okay, I'm all dressed and ready to go. I'm trying to get me in the sunlight. I don't think that is eating. But this is me. Face is ready. I kind of don't like the foundation I use, but what can you do? Now here's a fit. I literally got these gazelles from adidas today and i want to wear these also got this skirt today from abercrombie and fitch let me show this so you can see yeah i got this skirt today too it's like a sport thing it has shorts over here can't really see this is just a black little top and then a leather because it's going to be cold later here's what i'm wearing to my dance birthday dinner let's go okay good morning it's another day today's saturday oh my god i'm dropping everything i'm about to go get my nails done they're so crusty and gross i'm gonna gel pedicure and a gel mani 
no, not a gel mini, just a gel polish change. I don't really need a full manicure from them right now. And my nail place I'm at right now is next to my hair place. And they closed down this hair place, but then they just reopened it up and it's bigger and better. So I want to go in there too. Not that I even need anything. I just want to go in because I love a hair store so much. And then after that, I went to the bank. Took out some cash money, dollar bills. It looks like a lot, but it's just hella fives because I like to keep a little cash on me when going to an island just in case. You know, you may need some dollar bills. And I don't know why the light is getting weird, but and it works out perfectly because then if you don't use all your money, you can just put it back in your account or just keep it because it's money is cash. So I got some cash out and now sitting here about to go in and get my nails done, go to the hair store. What else did I say? I said something else. Uh, oh, I got to go to Target, get my final little travel essentials. And then I think that's it for today. Oh, I ordered, uh, what's those? Eyelash extensions. I was supposed to get my lashes done. I'm not going anymore because I had a meeting for work. So I ordered a kit off of Amazon and that's supposed to come today. And these shorts I ordered from Abercrombie and Fitch are supposed to come today. It's just a very big day of getting things together. And then once I get home, I'm going to go through my summer stuff and see what I want to bring with me on this trip. So that's the game plan for today. I'm about to go get my nails done. Let's go. Somebody tell me why he would get this big cart and scoot it around this Target when <laughs> I'm leaving him when we only are here for many products. Look, <laughs> he can't even get around with this big cart. It's annoying me and my homegirls. All right, let me look at the list. These are the shorts that I got from Abercrombie. They're actually super cute. I was really scared because I had no minutes to return these. But I'm pleased. They're so cute. These are the 90s cut off short. I got them in a size 32. Um, I wanted to go a size up because I didn't know if they were like denim denim or stretchy denim. But I'm happy that I went with the size up because they fit perfectly and it'll be more breathable you know what i mean like if i just ate and i feel like i got space to move and groove then imagine when i'm just walking on the island you know what i mean like they're really comfortable abercrombie is that girl i don't know how i became such a fan so fast but i'm absolutely a mega fan of them okay so this nail box it's from Undercover Snacks. I had made a TikTok about them and about how I love their snacks because I like um, big give back snacks for the summer because sometimes you still want a snack, but you don't want it to have a million sugars, a million this, a million that. You just want a simple snack that tastes good and not like you're eating grass. You know, I hate it. So they sent me this hoodie, QT, QT into it, and then they sent me the snacks let's get into it so i got oh i didn't even know they had these types of things but so they're the main premise of their snacks is they have quinoa crisp which sounds absolutely disgusting they're so good they're addicted it's something about the poppedness the popped crunch of quinoa dipped in chocolate it does it does something for you the first time we had these was on the plane and i was eating them on the plane thinking about the days where we could have like pretzels and peanuts on the plane but then i was like this snack is actually not bad like this is actually a pretty good snack like i would buy this in the real world and then i never sold it again in the real world until i went to rite aid and then target and i started seeing more and more but nonetheless this is flavor is milk chocolate with currants so it has like i don't know how to describe but it's like a little cookie almost envision and then it's dipped the quinoa is dipped in the milk chocolate and then it got these currants sprinkled in 
Do you know what a currant is? Me either. It looked like a little raisin on here. Currants, currants just sound like a fancy raisin. I don't know. Xavier, is a currant? What is that? It is a dry fruit, but I, we both don't know. I'll look it up. Then they gave me the dark chocolate with cherries. This is probably going to be dangerous because it has the quinoa, the crisp, the crunch, the chew, everything you can want. I've been really into these. This is just the milk chocolate one. And you know what's crazy? I'm a milk chocolate girl, but these dark chocolate and sea salt ones, they're really like that. These are the ones I had on the plane. These are the ones that's really like that. And I'm not even like a real dark chocolate eater. And then they sent me, I got four bags, four bags. You know how people do money spreads with money? This is how I feel with the undercover snacks. Can't even hear me. Money calling. Stacks on deck. Stacked up. All this stuff from Old Navy because I love their workout gear. If you're in the market for a cheap workout gear, you should definitely look at, when I say cheap, I mean something that doesn't cost a lot of money, not cheap and quality. Old Navy stuff is quality and it lasts you for a long time. Cheap in the sense of you're not gonna be paying Lululemon prices. Do you know what I mean? As black people, actually I'm not even gonna go down that road. What happened? to the original plot of the movie. What happened to the original plot of the movie? I got a legging. It's a black legging. I think I, I made like two unofficial sets, if I remember correctly what I did when I ordered. Nonetheless, I knew I was getting these braids and I said I need some more workout outfits because now I can work out harder because I got my braids in. I'll try these on in a little bit. But yeah, Old, Old Navy is a great option if you need some workout clothes or just general clothes if you gotta go into the office. back in from the walk. I just hung out at Emily's until she left to go to work. I'm trying to see where I can put you guys. This is a weird angle. You're on top of some boxes, but whatever. I ordered this DIY lash extension kit from Polo Tinoo. I'm not even lying. How would you pronounce this? Okay, exactly. Got it from Amazon. Pretty lit. It says, hi, here I come. It's a surprise waiting for me, I guess. Nonetheless, I got these lashes. They kind of have a curl. I don't know how to efficiently show you that they have a curl. Maybe this way is the best way. Some type of D curl, whatever. I don't know, like really fuzzy. And they came with these little pink tweezers. And it came with this, which I think is the the bond and seal glue and I got like this for like $14 so we're also going to be babysitting my dog my senior dog and here's the thing about him he's a really cool dude love him we have been locked in since I was probably 10 years old not even exaggerating because he's almost 20 years old he's 18 but he's now getting to that point where he may make may need to go to the other side so my mom she we just got off the phone She's like, yeah, when you guys are watching him, let me know if you think it's time. It's his time to like go. So yeah, that's a that's just a day in the life. Just a day in the life of a girl. So that's what we'll be doing. We'll be, I don't know, conducting an experiment. How am I supposed to know when a dog's time is? I don't, but I'll figure it out. That's the part about adulting. You always enter into a new height or territory you never thought you would. Like one day you're a kid and then the next day you're trying to decipher if your childhood dog needs to be put down because it's too old. Okay. 
I'm back. So what we're about to do now as a part of the prep is I'm not getting my areas waxed or sugared because I used to do that and it gave me a lot of ingrowns and I don't have time to deal with this. So we're going the old fashioned way. We're going to shave. I love this EOS um, sensitive shave cream. I am a sensitive. <laughs> I'm a sensitive girl. So I love a sensitive shave cream. I bought this fresh from Target when we went there the other day. Then I got this package in the mail. I gotta hold it like this because my address is on it. But I got it from Natrium. Natrium sent me this. And it says smooth for the summer. And then in it is this KP body scrub and mask. Um, it is a body exfoliator. I have the Smoother Glycolic Body Wash and the Smoother Glycolic Body Lotion. So I'm gonna try this body scrub for the purpose of my, um, what am I doing? Shaving and showering right now and the body wash. So I'm gonna be using these two products right here because usually, let me hold on for a second. Oh my goodness, everything's falling. Usually I use this O'Shea Salt of the Earth body scrub. I really like her. She is about $50 as you can see. I really like her. She's like $50. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to re-up on this so quickly if I'm paying $50. Also, I have a, little, a lot of these little uh, scars on me right now. I told you from my allergies I had like an allergy weird high flare up and I scratched myself raw and since this is like a salty body scrub it's going to burn it burns all the time so I'm gonna try this one because I think it's gonna be a way better alternative for my uses today I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering and let's just get into this shower so I can be shaven shaven and new to the gods I just wanna know my friend, I just want to know if you oh, pretend I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my purpose straight, girl. Don't get my shit away. I'm just trying to get my purpose straight, girl. I know I've been away. I'm just trying to get my purpose straight. I just want to know if you my friend. thing that we need to do these brows and lashes we're gonna get into it we're gonna do it we're gonna slay and nails done check toes done I will lift my foot up right now but I'm not gonna do that nails done toes done shave armpits and they not stinky because they make sure there's no hairs in there they not stinky and the last step is brows I don't have a lot of brow hair. I don't know if that's lucky or not. I don't have thick, luscious brows. So when I say I'm going to do my brows, it's not a intense process. It's just cleaning up in, in here. So it's not a million stragglers. Usually I would just tweeze the little hairs. But we got this yesterday, this Microman Groomsman. It's for men's groom, grooming for like their uh, nose and ears and all that. So, I'm going to get my tweezers ready so I can tweeze those little hairs. But I'm going to see if this makes it that much easier. It comes with three attachments. Okay, so this is the little finger my bob. And it comes with three attachments. One for, I guess, the nose. This is for like thick eyebrows and like, I don't know. And then it, 
and then it has this thin one this thinner one okay I'm gonna I'm trying to put this on oh my god I took I went on that me and Emily went on like a five mile walk today earlier and now your girl I finally took a shower oh god your girl's tired this sounds intense all right I know I didn't give any type of introduction to that. We just went into it, but it's eating. I just had to make sure it was going to eat. Now let's really get into it. Good for the soul. Only been a few hours when it felt like days. Only been days when it felt like months. When it gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. At this time, I'm doing what I want. we're done i'm assuming we're done i gotta i'm gonna clean this off once i stand back up but i want to show y'all oh my gosh i want to show y'all how it looks so less oh my i can't put this thing away to save my life now i got this is wall w a h l we got it for literally i think it came to like ten dollars at target all right let me brush this again so it looks like something and then i can show you what i did i am trying to grow my brows out so they can be bushy and full i used to um I used to laminate them at home, but I'm stopping because sometimes it breaks me out. So I literally didn't do much. I just cleaned up. When I said I was going to clean up stuff, I don't know why I'm getting dark spots. I desperately need sun. Like, what is this? But when I said I was cleaning them up, I literally mean right in here. I cleaned up in here so there's no little hairs. And then I cleaned up over here. But I'm not doing a lot, and I didn't want you guys to think that I have these thick, luscious brows. I do not. I usually would dye them, but I'm not even going to do that because sometimes, again, I break out. It's just a, a plague of having sensitive skin. I'm sensitive. I told y'all I'm sensitive across the board. Yeah, I'm not doing a lot. Also, one eyebrow is growing better than the other. This one is growing way better than this one. I'll have to figure that out at a later date. Eyebrows done. So we can play in the sun. Girls just want to have fun. Now, we're going to move on to these DIY lash extensions. And I'm going to show you how I do them. So let me get my materials together. Only been days, but it 
being that my phone I hate when I go in the bathroom and the lighting isn't right and it looks weird okay my phone there we go I went from brown skinned to light skinned in two seconds like please be serious the let me focus on what I'm saying the storage on my phone is like no longer right now it's no longer right now and it's really stressing me out because we leave and two days three days whatever how many days we leave and i have run out of storage before with this phone but now i'm like do i just break down and buy an additional phone or do i like move everything off this phone onto like google photos so that way it's in a secondary place it's just all really stressing me out because we pay one million dollars for these phones why can't i just have more storage i thought i had storage through the cloud like do i buy more storage through the cloud it's saying that applications is what's really holding up my phone and if you're wondering the application is CapCut, and i have three videos in there right now that i cannot delete because i'm waiting for feedback so i can post them it's actually just two videos but nonetheless i can't delete cab cup or them until i get approval to post them because i need to post them so i can make money to the to potentially buy a new phone and it's just a lot i know we're in the dark right now i don't like turning on the lights it's just a lot i'm putting stuff away i'm stress cleaning because it's just a lot it's just like annoying like <sighs> daddy steve jobs why did you leave us in such a moral dilemma why did you give us the phones if you were just not going to let us do what we need to do you made the phones now people can make money off the phones now the phones be having issues that don't make no sense to me so i need to sit here now and google um what to do in this situation with t minus three days to go so as far as me pulling out my clothes tonight that won't happen i have to figure this out and then you know, I'll pack. I'll probably put that on TikTok. So if you want to see that, go look there. Um, if not, I will see you lovely people in our vacation, vacation vlog. Love it. Hair done. Nails done. I can finally show you the toesies. Nails done. Is a dog bed because I'm watching my childhood dog Max. I already told y'all that he's walking around like he's grown, pampering all. 
He don't know who he is or where he is, but he's grown. Okay, he's grown. He's Mr. Grown. Anyway, hair done, nails done, everything did. I will see you in the vacation vlog. I love you so much. Come close so I can kiss you. There you go. There's your kiss. You want another one? I know you're greedy. I gave you two. Okay, one more for good luck. Okay, see you soon. Oh my God, I'm about to fall. Bye.